Hey guys, my name is Darkwater Killer, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I have a quick tutorial for you guys showing you how to use loot tables to give specific loot depending on the name of your tool. Um, I'll be using the method shown to me by the subscriber Live Dimensions. As always, if you need help or if you have an idea for a video, leave a comment below or consider joining my official Discord server. Um, the link to the server will be in the description. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, here you can see I have two diamond axes. One is just a regular, normal diamond axe, and the other is renamed, has been renamed to Flaming Axe. And as you can see, if I break an oak log using the regular diamond axe, it just drops a normal oak log. However, if I break an oak log using the axe renamed to flaming axe, it drops a piece of charcoal instead. So all this loot table is checking is whether or not I used a diamond axe, as well as if that axe has been renamed to flaming axe. Um, over in VS Code, I will show you exactly what I did to achieve this functionality. Right here is the loot table that I have created that replaces the default oak log loot, ta loot table. So that means that I have this loot table just in the data Minecraft loot tables blocks folder um, down in that progression in your data pack. Um, so you've just got standard pools and here in this first pool it's a single pool um, and it's just got one roll and it has a single entry which is different from how you would typically or how I would have typically done it but I prefer live dimensions method um, so what you do is you set the type to Minecraft alternatives which just pulls things from a list of child entries and it just picks the first entry where all the conditions apply so as you can see this right here is the first entry in that um, list of children and it's got just the single condition of match tool and the predicate that it's trying to match is make sure that the item is a diamond axe and right here is checking the NBT of that axe asking is it renamed to flaming axe and so that's all the conditions that it has to check there's nothing else on top of that um, little pro tip to something to remember when you're doing this is if you're checking the name of something you have to um, escape sequence these quotations otherwise it will just think there's an error because it'll think that you ended the string because the NBT um, part of the predicate is a string so you just have to make sure that you escape sequence those um, quotation characters and that just simply means add a backslash in front of the quotation marks for things like text and the name of the text. Um, next it's just your normal type item name Minecraft charcoal so if you're using a diamond axe named flaming axe it will drop an item um, with the namespace ID of Minecraft charcoal and so that's the first entry in the children the second entry is just Minecraft um, oak log so if the conditions for this aren't met it will move on the loot table will move on to the next entry and because this entry doesn't have conditions that means that this will drop by default so this is what's being called when I break an oak log with anything other than a diamond axe renamed to flaming axe um, that's pretty much it for this video um, if you liked this video please consider dropping a like if you didn't like it leave a dislike I just need to know your guys's feedback um, if you have any feedback or suggestions please do so in the comments and um, like I said I have a discord server now the link for that will be in the description uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have a great day.